Hey guys, Henry Man 33 here. I'm sorry I'm a bit stuffed up. I'm coming down with a cold. I don't know if I sound like it. Um, I'm gonna mute my phone. Anyway, so I got a suggestion for this video from uh, Cooler1999. He changed his uh, username from Cooler Game, uh, so he corrected me on that. So yeah, sorry about that. And I just, you know, I didn't know you changed it at the time. So thanks for correcting me. Uh, just move something over there. Thanks for correcting me about uh, about the change. I didn't know that you changed it, so it's, it's my fault. It's all my fault. It's all good. Uh, but like I said, thanks for uh, correcting me. I'm sorry about the sniffling. Uh, if it if it ticks you guys off, it, I'm I'm sorry. It's kind of out of my control right now. But um, so the suggestion for this video that I got from Kula1999. <laughs> Gotta try to remember that. Um, is my yeah, is to list my top five WWE tag teams of all time. Top five WWE, blah, top five WWE tag teams of all time. Now, um, I'm gonna go from my number one. I'm gonna go from my favorite to my least favorite of all time. By the way, just so you know. So number one, my my favorite. Then next, I'm gonna do my second favorite. Then my Third favorite, then my fourth favorite, then my fifth favorite. That, that's how I'm going to work it with this. So, uh, here we go. My favorite, number one, my favorite WWE tag team of all time has to be the Hardy Boys. Matt and Jeff Hardy. They have to be my favorite WWE tag team of all time. They're a great team. They teamed up. They did great. A couple. Of, they won a couple of tag titles in, uh, in the WWF in the uh, late 90s, early uh, early. 2000s, when the WWF was, uh, was still, when a WWE was still called the WWF, and where they actually had pretty darn good matches, they had pretty good booking, uh, now, uh, I'm, I'm of the opinion now that, uh, WWE booking, right, right now, WWE booking is crap, <laughs> they don't book their matches very well at all, um, but that's probably something I'll get on for another video. Uh, about my opinion on WWE booking right now is that yeah, that's something for another video probably So yeah, my my favorite WWE tag team of all time has to be the Hardy Boys so uh, Number two my second favorite would be the Dudley Boys Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley Now they had a good run. They had a good run when they first uh, when they first got into the WWF slash WWE they had a great run one of the one of the tag titles nine times. You know they're a great run. They're great, you know, and uh, they kicked a lot of ass. Put a lot of three. Put a lot of people through tables. It's always a good thing. Um, yeah. From my personal opinion, I love um, I love seeing people going through tables in professional wrestling. It doesn't matter if it's WWE or TNA, because uh, I watch both WWE and TNA. Personally, I like TNA a bit more. Um. Personally, right now, I find that the TNA booking and the way the TNA is run versus WWE in terms of right now in 2015 um, is like five times better than WWE. But I still watch WWE because my favorite my favorite wrestler is Brock Lesnar, um, and uh, he's in the WWE. So uh, I do have a few I have, do have quite a few wrestlers in WWE that I like. And, um, uh, I watched WWE more than I, uh, for a longer time than I watched TNA. But, uh, you know, you know, I watched TNA as well as WWE. Now I find I watch TNA a bit more because, uh, it's got better, better programming than WWE in my mind, I find. And, uh, TNA had Sting. They have, uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy now. And, uh. They don't have all this crap that, you know, the authority and Seth Rollins. I hate Seth Rollins, but he's doing a good job as a heel, so I gotta give him that. Um, and all that crap that's going on in the WWE, they don't really have that in TNA as of yet, but whatever. And it was, yeah, my second favorite would be the Dudley Boys, definitely. For my third favorite tag team of all time third favorite WWE tag team of all time 
I'll probably do a TNA video later, because I'm, I'm probably going to maybe go back and forth between WWE and TNA in these YouTube videos. Um, sorry for all this, I'm, I'm not feeling the best. Um, my third favorite WWE tag team of all time. Um, oh, that's, that's tough. That is really tough. Wow. Uh, I would have said, I would have said DX. DX, uh, but DX was more of a faction than a tag team. Uh, but there were the Road Dogs, which were a tag team. But, um, I, I like them. I like them. But, um, uh, they weren't one of my, they're not one of my favorites. Uh, I like them. I, I do like the Road Dogs. I do love the, uh, uh, New Age Outlaws. Sorry, my, my mind's all messed up. The New Age Outlaws. I do like the New Age Outlaws. I do like them. I mean, they're, they're a great tag team. But they're not in the, my, they're, they're sorry. I, I'm getting, I'm coming down with cold. I can't really talk well. Um, New Age Outlaws, I like them, but they're not in my top five um, WWE tag teams of all time. Definitely not. So, number three. Oh. That, that's, that's a tough one, number three. Um, and I'm, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, by the way, guys. I'm doing this off the top of my head, trying to think of uh, all the different tag teams of all time and see which ones I like more than other ones. I'm trying to make up a top five for me. And I'm I'm trying not to um I'm by the way I'm trying not to come up to uh to mention tag teams that are new you know that have have just been formed within the past few years in WWE so I'm going to try to exclude tag teams that are you know young people you know young guys just rook basically rookies in WWE um well uh. Lucha Dragons, I like that tag team. Very good tag team in WWE. Very high flying, very exciting tag team. Uh, uh, Sin Cara has been in WWE for a while, but uh, but Kalisto hasn't been in WWE for a long time. He just came up from NXT, and uh, Lucha Dragons were in NXT. Uh, Sin Cara and Kalisto, Lucha Dragons. Um, so I'm trying to keep those the the new guys like like uh, New Day and Lucha Dragons and uh, primetime players and. Uh, the Ascension and those guys out of uh, out of the picture for of all time, but I might have to uh, bring in some of those maybe for uh, other videos probably more than likely it'll be for other videos and not for this one. So number three, I'm, ha I'm you can tell I'm having a tough time trying to come up with number three, my third favorite tag team of all time. Uh, it's a tough one. It's it's tough. Oh, uh, well. Now I like I like the Brothers of Destruction. I like them, but um, I don't think they ever, you know, uh, got the titles for a real good tag team. Kane and the Undertaker. The combination of Kane and the Undertaker is a great combination, and and something that not not too many people would would argue about. I mean, Kane, the combination of Kane and the Undertaker. That's a that's awesome. Um, great combination, but, uh, wouldn't work out <laughs> too well for an extensive period of time. Three, I would, uh, just to get this over with, I am going to go with Edge and Christian. Just to get it over with, I'm going with Edge and Christian. Now, Edge and Christian, they were a good combination. They won the tag titles at least once. They were a good combination. You know, Edge and Christian, they were friends for 27 years, so, uh, well, as of now, they're friends for about 27 years. They're great friends uh, in in real life. I mean, that's not kayfabe. This is real life. They are great friends. Most WWE superstars in real life are great friends. But uh, that's not the point. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'd go with... Uh, And Christian, I almost forgot who I said. And Christian as my, number three. Number four. Number four, I will go. Now I'm going to take in. Uh... Sorry, guys, I had to cut out because uh, 
my mom interrupted my video. She does that sometimes. And it was, I was at number four. Number four. My fourth favorite WWE tag team of all time. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I said this. I'm gonna go with a team that, uh, it no longer exists. It's a fairly recent team. Fairly recent. But, uh, the team no longer exists, so I guess that counts. Um, so I'm gonna go with The Shield. Number four. Number four will be The Shield. The Shield... They were a great tag team, uh, three-man tag team. It was Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and all three of them, they're good. They're pretty good. Now, I hate Seth Rollins. I love Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, but I have to say, all three of them, they are doing very well, uh, as singles competitors in WWE. It's, they're doing a very good job. I mean, Dean Ambrose, he's Dean Ambrose. He can do whatever he wants, pretty much. Roman Reigns, he got a t uh, shot at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania against Brock Lesnar, and almost won. Because even coming from me, a huge Brock Lesnar fan, he destroyed Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, and should have won. But Seth Rollins cashed in Money in the Bank and uh, won the title that way. And uh, Roman Reigns, uh, and well, I, I said it was, and Seth Rollins. He's the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and at SummerSlam in uh, back in August, he uh, won the United States Championship off of John Cena. It was a title for title match. Uh, John Cena was the United States Champion. Seth Rollins was the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and if John Cena won, he would be both the WWE World Heavyweight Champion and United States Champion. So it was a title for title match, and either way would have made history. Either John Cena becoming a 16-time World Heavyweight Champion, tying with my favorite wrestler of all time, Ric Flair, or Seth Rollins being the one that makes history, being the first ever to be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion and the United States Champion at the same time, which ended up winning because of John Stewart interrupting the match. Well, you know, the, the referee was knocked down, it was hurt. Well, w, the WWE version of a referee being hurt. Um, and you didn't see the chair shot that, uh, John Stewart came out with, because John Stewart, uh, I'm trying to fix my bed that I'm sitting on. John Stewart was the host, I'm sorry about this, John Stewart was the host of uh, SummerSlam, and, um, he, uh, he, uh, took a chair, and, uh, oh, this is really annoying, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyways, he took a chair, and, uh, hit John Cena with it, because he said he didn't want John Cena to break Ric Flair's record. And, uh, Ric Flair said on Raw, on the Raw after SummerSlam, Ric Flair said that he was cheering for John Cena to, uh, to win. To have the record. So, yeah. That happened. So, yeah, I mean, Seth Rollins, you know, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns are doing great as, uh, singles competitors. Doing very good. Now for number five. My fifth favorite WWE tag team of all time. That would be right after the break. Right after this commercial break. Just kidding. Nah, no commercial breaks in Henry Man 33. Um, maybe I'll do it later. You know, just to piss some people off. Anyway, so number five. Number five tag team of all time. Um, in WWE. That's kind of tough. Who would be number five? I will go with Batista and Rey Mysterio. Now, Batista and Rey Mysterio, they were a pretty good tag team. They were their best friends at the time, before Batista crossed, double-crossed, uh, before he cro double-crossed, uh, whatever, whatever version of crossed. But he, he, anyways, the point is he, he, uh, turned against Rey Mysterio, Batista did, and, uh, destroyed him. So, they won the tag titles, uh, at least once. And, um, they were a good team, good team together, very good team, and, uh, Actually, a lot, um, according to what I've, what I've heard and read, a lot of the, um, the tattoos 
and I have a Rey Mysterio figure here to show you. There's this one right here on his right shoulder. Don't know if you guys can see that well. That one right here below my finger, right above my finger, I mean, that one is the same tattoo that Batista has. That's a Batista tattoo on Rey Mysterio's right arm, right, uh, right up here on the shoulder. There you go. So, they, they were best friends, um, great tag team together, and I'm probably getting a bit too long for this video. So, anyways, that's my top five uh, WWE tag teams of all time, number one. Being the Hardy Boys, number two, the Dudleys, number three, uh, Edge and Christian, I think I said, number four, being, uh, I can't remember, number four, who was number four? Being the Shield, there you go, and number five, being Batista and Rey Mysterio. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you comment, uh, let me know on any other videos you'd like me to see. What, any videos you'd like me to do for you guys. Sorry, I'm I'm getting cold. I'm getting sick, so my brain's not functioning properly. I would I would guess. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.